the stock in focus is Kane's tech last week they're in approval for their heads over plan this morning of course the talking point is that much anticipated OSAT Gujarat Prahlad has received an approval. We have with us the management of Kane's Tech joining in Ramesh Kunikan, MD and promoter of Kane's Technology, and Jairam Sampath, whole time director and CF of Kane's Tech, joins us on the show. Thank you, gentlemen, and very, very sorry to keep both of you waiting. Mr. Sampath, we only spoke a few days ago and you told us about everything that was going on uh, with Kane's Tech. You also talked to us about how you're awaiting that approval from the government. Uh, on your Gujarat plan and that's finally come through so big congratulations uh, on that I know you've been waiting for a few quarters for this to come through and it has let's walk us why don't you walk our viewers through what this OSAT plant is about what is the investment you've earmarked what is the potential capacity you're looking to add and when will this be revenue creative Mr. Ramesh you want to take that I'll start with you because Jairam and me have already yes. spoken a few days ago yes See, our OSAT plan is going to be an assembly house and it will have a test facility too. Now, we have planned a project for around 4,000 crores. We will be investing around 850 crores. So, this is on the plant and machinery. Apart from that, there will be some civil works and all put together. So, we are excited that government has given us the approval and then we want to start. We feel we need a year's time for construction activity. We have acquired land. We have done our planning stage, so execution will start in a month's time. And from there, uh, we will take for civil construction. And our first revenues should be up on the third quarter of 2026. This is what we are planning. Third quarter of 2026 is when you will have it up and functioning and operational in that sense. You said you were looking to allocate about 800 crore rupees towards this investment. Uh, and we're looking to have about a 4,000 crore project in that sense. So how much percent of CAPEX uh, are you currently penciling in? And also for every rupee that you spend on this CAPEX, how much of sales would you be looking to generate? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so uh, fundamentally, we get about 75% uh, or close to that uh, subsidies on plant and machinery from the uh, central and state governments. The remaining is the investment that we make. Uh, for every rupee of capex spent, uh, uh, the potential uh, for revenue is between 1 to 1.5 rupee. And that would depend on uh, what kind of uh, work that we do. We have uh, planned to do about 25% of our capacities aimed towards legacy uh, product uh, building and then 75% towards advanced packaging because we do believe that uh, in the near future, the demand for advanced packaging is going to go up and that's also more margin accretive. Being a very capital intensive industry, uh, we are very mindful of the fact that we should uh, target for much higher uh, you know, EBITDA numbers. So it will be overall value accretive uh, from the perspective of EBITDA and also we hope to make it uh, commensurate with our existing ROCs by making sure that we uh, work on the upper band of uh, revenues uh, for this kind of, uh, let's say about 3,300 crores is the kind of capex uh, to begin with. And then uh, we should probably hit about 4,000, 4,000 plus uh, crores of uh, revenues. And that would happen uh, over a period between two to four years. So FI26, uh, fourth quarter is the significant revenue portion. Third quarter, of course, we commence the operations and um, get things together. So 27, 28, 29, 30 is when we ramp up uh, to the highest potential for uh, this business. Uh, Mr. Sampath, you mentioned that this, uh, of course, part of the facility will focus on advanced packaging and part of it will contribute to your existing business and it's going to also be margin accretive. You want to tell me how much will it impact your current margins in the current business? So, so these are, uh, uh, the, especially the advanced packaging OSAD, is uh, far higher margin compared to our existing EMS business. The only cash there is to have a um, good set of clients so that we get reasonable revenue output and a good capacity utilization. So, uh, broadly speaking, margin uh, uh, will be uh, significantly higher Let's say the current business runs at about 15%, and these margins could be 18%, uh, 19% kind of uh, EBITDA margins. Uh, maybe even higher uh, because uh, they consume more capital. 
So, so net net, uh, we'll be happy if this gives us early twenties in terms of ROC, and the margins, uh, of course, will be consequently higher than the existing company's consolidated margins. Yes, Mr. Sampadan, your margins anyway are highest in the EMS space. I mean, there's very few that come close to in terms of margin lucrativity in that sense. Uh, you said what would be critical for this advanced packaging business to kick off is having clients and customers. Uh, would existing clients be your potential clients with the advanced packaging? Are you in conversation with potential clients? Because I'm assuming this would have been an idea that came to you because there was a demand or a need from the industry, right? This is not from our existing clients. We have been working with some clients for getting there and uh, we have got good traction and we will be there the uh, moment our plant is set up. We have got good commitments from our clients These for advanced package. Yeah. We are semiconductor companies who work in the new generation of uh, technology areas and they need some companies to help them with uh, packaging, especially in the advanced packaging area. Of course, there are traditional capacities for legacy set up all over South Asia, China, and uh, even Western world. Uh, but our target is to limit uh, our exposure to legacy technologies to about 25%. And remaining 75%, we want to work in the newer generation of packaging, including some of the latest generation of uh, 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 wafers like uh, silicon photonics and so on. So our, our endeavor is to make sure that uh, we become one of the uh, suppliers who can participate in the new generation of uh, packaging technologies, which is currently the province of people in Taiwan and Korea and Japan and so on. You know? is the, how big is the potential here, Mr. Sampath? I know there is enough and more competition from outside the country, like you said. But what is the potential in this advanced packaging space? Uh, highly margin accretive, highly revenue accretive. And I mean, those margins have are, are, sh are fantastic to say the least. But what is the size of the potential we are talking about here? And how much market share do you see uh, Keynes own two to three years out? So, so we would, uh, even at the peak uh, realization of our revenues, we would still be sub billion dollar. This is a tiny portion of the market. The markets uh, are pretty high. And uh, so from the perspective of, it, it is similar to the MS industry that we are facing. Uh, the markets are much, much larger than what uh, capacity that we can actually offer. So from that perspective, uh, I think uh, demand uh, will exceed the supply as far as the advanced packaging and those kinds of areas are concerned. Also India is very much poised actually. If you uh, talk about uh, say, the government's uh, help in this entire regard. I think I'll request Ramesh to talk about uh, the help that government is giving actually in terms of getting this entire thing off the ground. We should really thank the central government for sanctioning this project for Kings. And having said that, uh, see, this type of an industry can come up only with the government help. If you see globally, most of the country's government has pitched in, and this is exactly what our central government also has done. So net net, maybe next couple of decades uh, we have enough of uh, demand to go by. So yeah, we we have to get our act together, uh, get the first machine uh, working, first line working, first customer approvals, then of course uh, complete our plan and then uh, think about you know further validations. It's exciting and I think thank you both because both of you have joined us from London. We just realized it's very early in the morning there. But thank you for joining us on TV. I'll just quickly follow this up with uh, two more questions. Uh, you know, your order book is extremely healthy. Your average inflow stands to the tune of 480, 490 crores a month. And also the other thing that has stood out for us is your working capital days had dropped or you were operationally working on improving that at least up until the last quarter. Uh, is there any risk with this new project coming on board, new businesses, you know, contributing to your top line, your working capital days could be impacted? And also, I know you were sitting on your QIP funds that were raised. Uh, most of those funds will be utilized for these plans? Yes. Yes. I think, uh, so from that perspective, we are now ready. There is no uh, hitch in terms of company investment as well as subsidies. So all has fallen into place. And uh, these businesses are a little more efficient than EMS business because the inherent varieties will be still smaller than the, our current EMS business. A number of customers also will not be you know, proliferated here. There are only 
um, maybe up to about 10 customers that we would have. So from that perspective, the supply chain uh, related uh, risks are minimal to say the least. And the bulk of the material also is consigned to us so by the semiconductor companies. So from that perspective, uh, the exposure that company has is only in the common raw material space, which is, uh, so from the perspective of number of days, et cetera, it will be even better than what we have in the EMS industry. Thank you, thank you, and congratulations again. You'll both uh, have a good trip in London, and we'll hopefully catch you back in India in person for a more detailed conversation. I'd love to understand more about the PCB approval as well, which uh, I believe Keynes Technology is awaiting. But good luck and congratulations, gentlemen. Mm -hmm.